Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how to publish your web player mm, version of Unity 3D game so let's just start with my story you know first of all so recently I decided to publish my web player game and this game is pretty good pretty big it's about 75 megabytes it's you know this mm, it's um, render it compiled U unity you know web player package and this is html file 75 megabytes yeah this is a very good size and this is the the folder of the you know this initial mm, source origin of all the files that this game is using so this you know folder has size he, 3.75 it's a gigabyte so and basically when I started to to compile this you know this project it into web player game uh, I open it my task manager to keep an eye on the process of memory you know um, memory di distribution so and I found out that Unity was using very you know you know large amount of memory. So it was about one gigabyte of memory, and my computer has only four four uh, gigabytes of RAM. And uh, and and eventually you know this number of memory was you know amount of memory you know was you know increasing and unity crashed with uh, error you know this um, out of memory error and what I want to say you guys that um, to avoid this error you have to understand how unity does work with your web uh, uh, player games I mean this uh, projects so uh, so the number now, you know, this amount of memory, it's 400 megabytes. So it, you know, it's quite good and stable, and you know, a stable number for Unity, you know, this amount of memory. And before this number was you no know, less amount of memory, you know, it was you know, doubled. So it was you know two times bigger because. Unity, you know, was rendering this screen, and also it was compiling, you know, this this Senna, you know, simultaneously. So you know, so you know it. So I have here, you know, the biggest Senna here, this one, and it Unity was compiling this Senna, you know, and packing it into the web player version, and also it was rendering it here you know in the game screen and you know in the center screen so and eventually unity crashed so what do you have to do to to avoid this click here file new scene and you will create a new scene and then after this you have to go here build settings uh, you know add your center and click here you know build and you know, don't 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 forget to switch to web player version, of course. And then you know the a amount of memory that Unity is using, you know, will be decreased. So you know, dramatically. Okay, so it's about this Unity web player, you know, the package mm, rendering and compiling and publishing to you know some some site. And now let's talk about a publishing so basically I use it you know one site for publishing my web player games and this site has a strict limit so this limit is very very strong it's about uh, four megabytes or maybe six megabytes so it's you cause you cause website so it's and recently you know um, about 35 minutes ago I switched it to Dropbox 
to Dropbox and I'm going to show you how I link it my UCAS or you know any other websites you have you know webs web hosting with Dropbox <coughs> so let's start with explanation of how it does work so I have here mm, I have here my this website so it's UCAS here is a somewhere here the this logo of this company you cause oh, damn it, where is it okay I don't see any logos here but anyway it's somewhere here somewhere somewhere okay let's just go here instead this is here we go this is this service so so when I have here my file manager and here is here is um, HTML I know this file of my web player mm. build and I have here and I have here a a link to my Dropbox file so it's a direct link so you can see it here so I have here a link and plus I know I, I have this mm, ending here so how to dig how to get this this link you have to go to your Dropbox here is uh, a button share and then you will get this link but you 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 don't need this ending I mean this one you need a different ending you you, you need this one where is it row equals one so you know also I tried Google Drive but Google Drive you know it's not satisfied I mean not so you know I'm not satisfied with Google Drive because it doesn't you know make you get direct link so now I'm using um, Dropbox instead so and after that so you copy this link you replace this DL with row and you replace zero with one and eventually you will get in you know, all this HTML file like this you know I know this line sh should look like this and that's all y you have to do this is only one line you have to replace in your HTML file okay I need to add here some some stuff here I need to add here yeah so basically that's all I wanted to show you in this video if you have some questions feel free to ask me uh, and to ask me in the comments I'm always ready to answer to reply to any of your comments adequate comments yeah oops not here <laughs> it's you know I'm I'm going to insert flag you know this flag counter to my <coughs> to my my page yeah and let's just test what we have here so we have here so it's my flag a uh, counter and this is a link this is a link save once again close 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 you let's go here Oh, I have to replace this strange name with them with something we know better. So you can see now it's loading. And meanwhile, I want to I want to get back to my site and go to control panel and change. 
L I mean link, not link, name of this item of main menu. Okay, so here we go, item. Let's call it Stale Thief. Okay, this is good name, I guess. Save. Okay, it's loading pretty, you know, long, but but I believe it will load it someday. Okay, you can try this game out. You know, kind, uh, you know, kind of game. And once again, thank you for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye, bye bye, and have a good time. See you.